Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to make this amazing stitch. It's a variant of the comma and double cross stitches combined. The peculiarity of this stitch, which being a little open work, leaves the work very soft, is that he has a two different sizes. On this size, as you can see, it makes a, like a little bubble all around. And in the other side, we have those little square and inside the bubbles. They are both very beautiful and ideal for blankets, scarves, I will also give you very useful tips in this video, so stay tuned and let's get started. In case you want to know, I'm using a worsted weight yarn number 4 in the crochet hook 5mm or H, but you can use any yarn in any type of hook that goes with it. So the stitch is a multiple of 4 plus 2. So for the sample, for my sample, I'm going to make 16 plus 2, 18 chain. I'm starting with a slip knot and I'm going to chain 16. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and the plus two, seventeen, and eighteen. So here for the first row, for our base, we were going to make a single crochet in each of the chain. So we start from the second, from the hook, is one is here, in the second, we make a single crochet, single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next and single crochet until the end of this row I'm here almost at the end I need one more single crochet there is that's how it looks like now we're going to chain four three for the to simulate the double crochet a one separation chain now here is my first tip for you usually we turn our work from right to left in this fashion like this because uh, that's how we used to do and it's fine for the single crochet but if you do it with the double crochet your chain is all twisted see like that so what we gonna do is instead to turn our work like we usually do from right to left like that we're going to turn from the left to the right like so and I'm going to show you now the difference when you turn like that you can see that your chain is straight the stitches are more defined and they are prettier and you can see better as well so now we can start our stitch this count as a stitch so we're not to going to work here now we're going to skip two stitches 
one and two and we're going to work in the third in the third we yarn over and we're gonna make a double crochet we are going to chain one and then we yarn over and we're going to go in the first stitch that we skipped here we have our two skipped stitches one and two we work in the first that we skipped and we're going to make a double crochet and here we have our first crossed stitch now in the next chain we're going to make a double crochet yarn over we skip two stitches one two in the third one we're going to make a double crochet we chain one we yarn over and we go back in the first stitch we skipped before so one two we go in the first and we do a double crochet like so in the next stitch we're going to make a double crochet we yarn over we skip two stitches one two in the third we're going to make a double crochet we chain one yarn over and we're going back in the first we skipped the second first here we are going to make a double crochet like so yarn over next stitch a double crochet alone yarn over skip two one two in the third we're going to make a double crochet we chain one yarn over and we go back in the first stitch that we skipped this is the second in the first and we make a double crochet now we have our last stitch it will be a double crochet the first and the last they always are a double crochet and that's how it looks like so far now we're going to chain four one two three and four we turn our work from the left to the right this chain of course it counts as a stitch now we're going to work inside our cross stitch which is here here where we make the separation chain in that little space there we will work our stitches there so we yarn over we start making a double crochet we close two loops but we're not close all the stitch we yarn over again pick up a loop we close two and we don't finish our stitch we yarn over again we pull up a loop we close two and at this point we have four loops on our hook we yarn over we close all together 
we chain one. Now you remember that here we made a double crochet alone. In this double crochet alone, we are going to make a front post double crochet. So we yarn over and we pull up a loop and we make our front post double crochet like so. We chain one and now we're going to work again in the middle of our cross stitch. Yarn over we start our double crochet we close only two but we're not close all the stitch so we yarn over we pull up a loop we close two yarn over again we pull up a loop pull through two and now we have our four loops on our hook we yarn over and we close all four. Chain one and now we have our double crochet alone and here we're going to make our front post double crochet. Close two, close the other two and that's how it looks like so far again we are going to work in the middle of our cross stitch chain one yarn over we start our double we close one part but not we don't finish yarn over again pull up a loop close two yarn over pull up a loop close two four loops on our hook and we close all four together chain one and now we're going to make our front post double crochet through through two there you go now chain one again we're going to to make our group of three double crochet yarn over pull up a loop close two yarn over pull up a loop close two yarn over again pull up a loop close two and then yarn over we have a four loops on our hook we close all together and we make a chain. Now here we have <clears throat> our last stitch to work here. That will be our last. Another tip, now we don't need, we need the three chain when we start our work we don't need it here so what I like to do is instead to close your work on the third chain I'm closing my work on the second chain see how really nice and defined they are now the chain because we turned in the other fashion so now that I can see very well now I like to close in the second chain because if when we close in the third one like usually they suggested is a little bit more open more floppy so I like to do in this way better and I'm going to make my last double crochet in the second instead the third and the work as you can see is nice and straight and it looks prettier and that's what we have so far now we're going to chain three again 
and we're going to turn our work from the left to the right and we start again the first row we're going to make the cross stitch now in this case where we're going to work is in this space that we have between those little bubble here and here so we have our chain already we yarn over we're going to make our first double crochet inside the second space that we have and we make one double crochet we chain one now we have to make the crosses so we're going back in the other space here so we yarn over we go back in the space and we make our double crochet like so in this stitch we work one double crochet now again we work our cross so we're going yarn over we go in this space the second space available and we make a double crochet we chain one now we yarn over and we go back in the space behind now we have our double crochet alone and we're going to work a double crochet again another cross we have a two space here one two we go in the second and we make a double crochet we chain one we yarn over and we go back in the previous space that we skipped before like so again now we have our double crochet alone and now we're going to work our last cross so we go in the second space available and we make a double crochet we chain one and we go back in the previous space and we make our last cross here. now we're going to make our double see here one two three this is the chain that we made before we're going to close here so i'm going to make my last double crochet in the second chain And that's what it looks like. And this is the other side. Start forming the little square. And that's how we continue with our stitch. You continue repeating the row one and two at the same way. I'm going to do one more with you. We are going to chain four, three for the uh, eight of the double crochet and one for the separation chain. We're going to turn from the left to the right. This count as a stitch. Now we have our cross stitch. We're going to work in the middle like we did before so yarn over we're gonna make our group of three unfinished double so i make my first yarn over pull up a loop i close two i don't finish the stitch yarn over pull up a loop 
I pulled through two and now we have a four on our hook yarn over and we close all four chain one and now we have our alone double crochet so here yarn over we made a front post double crochet like so chain one and we're going to work again inside our crossed stitch yarn over we pull through two we don't close one the second and then the third now we have all this loop here we close and chain one like so now we have our front post double crochet we chain one and we have to work inside again our crossed stitch pull up a loop I close two yarn over pull up a loop close two yarn over pull up a loop close two four loops on our hook yarn over and we close all together chain one and our front post double crochet and we chain one and our last here we pull up a loop we close two we have a one we pull up a loop we close two we have two we pull up a loop we close two and we have our three and we have a four loops on our hook we are over we close and we chain one and now we can see our need is our chain here so here in the second chain we're going to make our last double crochet and that's how the stitch looks like this is the side with the little bubble inside and this is the side with the little bubble and that's our is our stitch i hope this video was useful to you please give me a thumbs up it will be very helpful for me i'll see you next time bye